Hello friends, welcome back to Radiology Short Cases. I am again here with an interesting case of trauma. 32 year old male with history of MVA, patient had swelling and bruises over the maxillofacial region. Therefore, the CT maxillofacial was ordered. So, exit CT image shows fractures of the maxillary sinus walls with some soft tissue pacification. There is right periorbital soft tissue swelling and emphysema. Another finding is minimally displaced fracture of the right zygomatic arch. Second axial image shows minimally dis displaced fracture of the right lateral orbital wall with minimal air loculi in the right extraconal space. This is the lateral rectus muscle and this is the extraconal space with some air loculi. Coronal CT image depicts the fractures very well. So, we can see there are acute comminuted fractures of the posterior lateral and medial walls of the right maxillary sinus with hemosinus. And again, we can see uh, this uh, fracture of the right orbital floor, which is non displaced, non displaced fracture of the right lateral orbital wall with some air locular within the superior aspect of the right orbit. These findings are again depicted on this image, and the left side. It is normal. There is no fracture on the left side. So, based on these findings, the, the diagnosis of right tripod fracture was given. Tripod fracture is actually a misnomer and it is a complex zygomatico maxillary fracture where normally four components are there. Therefore, it is also known as quadriport fracture or quadramella fracture. So, what are the four components? Three of which are directly related to the connections between the zygoma and other facial bones, which includes maxillary bone, frontal bone, and temporal bone, including uh, greater wing of sphenoid. And fourth being the orbital floor, as in our case. So, uh, four components, I am going to repeat it again. They are fractures of the anterior and posterior lateral walls of the maxillary sinus, orbital floor fracture, which can be displaced or non displaced. Zygomatic arch fracture, lateral orbital wall, or rim fracture. So, this constitutes a uh, tripod fracture. Imaging studies, which are normally done for the maxillofacial uh, trauma cases, that includes radiographs. In radiographs, Waters view, submental view, and Caldwell view. Although nowadays we usually directly do the CT scan, but still we should know what are the radiographs which are uh, normally ordered for the trauma cases and in CT axial and coronal CT is performed followed by 3D reformats. 3D reformats gives us lot of information. So just to show you the uh, example so you can see uh, this is a 3D reconstruction image where uh, the this is another case where the fractures are on the left side. So you can see uh, this is also a case of tribord fracture with multiple fractures involving all the components. So just to show you the um, how the 3d reco reconstruction looks like thank you